Putin made a wrong decision and attacked Ukrainian territory on 24th of February 2022. The war is still ongoing and the number of Russian casualties has exceeded 365,000. The Russians are operating in the occupied territories with air and ground operations. The Ukrainian army is also responding strongly to these attacks. The Ukrainian army is extremely strong not only in air operations but also in land operations. Equipped with modern ammunition and powerful tanks, the Ukrainian army is struggling to completely break the defense lines of the Russian army in the occupied territories. The Ukrainian army is putting up an effective resistance against the Russian army, with powerful tanks and military equipment purchased from the USA and other NATO countries. With the arrival of 2024, in the first weeks of January, the Russian army is having a hard time against Ukraine, losing more and more military personnel and equipment every day. Ukraine's powerful UAVs and powerful tanks pose a serious threat to Russian tanks. Ukrainian UAVs and kamikaze drones have become a nightmare for Russian tanks. The Russian army lost five tanks and nine armored vehicles on the front line the other day. Ukrainian defense forces confirmed that five Russian tanks and nine Russian armored vehicles were destroyed by the operations. However, although the Russians are trying to increase the number of tanks to gain superiority over Ukrainian troops on the front line, this only leads to more tank losses. As a result of the successful operations of the Ukrainian army, 6,036 Russian tanks have been neutralized since the beginning of the war. 